Hello, welcome to my physical classroom plan um, for this area of the submission. I just kind of wanted to walk you through my physical plan. This is my very rough sort of blueprint that that, that I created. Um, this is what my classroom looks like in like real life and physical uh, kind of like person. Um, I have several pods of desks. Students work in groups. Um, I'm going to continue that this year. Uh, last year, due to COVID, everybody had to be in rows. I'm very excited to know that I can get back to what is my normal in my classroom and do uh, group work. And I think with the modern classroom design, it works better to be like this than in what I would call testing rows. So really quick, welcome to my classroom. I'm going to walk you through it here. Um, this is the main hallway. Um, entrance is right here. This is my classroom door. The first thing uh, you'll notice about my room is that I have a lot of desks and I don't have a ton of space. So um, there's kind of uh, sort of narrow pathways in between each pod. Um, as the kind of, you know, students come in, uh, more desks will be added or students will be sitting on the floor depending on um, how things go. Currently, I'm not able to get into my room. Otherwise, I would have shot a real life video. Um, my classroom is being used uh, for summer school currently, and it won't be disinfected and put back together until um, the very beginning of August. So um, this is my from memory sort of classroom blueprint. So here we go. We've gone into my classroom. The first thing that you'll see is, um, well, desks. Um, along this wall, I have built in shelves, which will house what I call my Matthews book nook. It's basically a st student library. Uh, kids can check out books from non-psychology related. Think of the library, but much smaller. Um, these built-ins are directly built into the wall, but there's a nice what I call bar or island here. Um, on this, there are um, what I call uh, art boxes. These art boxes hold supplies like glue, pencils, paper, different things like that, that during physical group projects, students from the pods will go collect an art bin, take it to their table, and then when they're done, put it back on the table. So that's roughly what that is. In the corner here, we have what's called a sanitation station. This is a set of bookshelves that house um, everything from hand sanitizer, tissues, Clorox wipes, all the different things to clean areas, clean art supplies, whatever. This is the very front of the room. This is where my smart board is. Um, it's really not a smart board anymore. It's actually uh, a 65 inch flat screen TV, um, but this is where I am when I deliver lectures or instruction. Um, this is my desk area over here to the left. Um, it's a pretty decent space. I have two desks that create an L a small walkway, and a bank of file cabinets. This is a non-student zone. Um, this is where I am, um, and this is where I bring students up to because there's a little bit of space back here for one-to-one -one instruction when it's necessary. This is something that I'm going to be adding via the um, class, you know, modern classroom kind of model. Um, I was sort of looking at different things and what people have posted in their classrooms and I came up with this idea of a question wall where there's going to be literally just a section of wall um, and a small table with post-it notes, pens, and pencils where students can ask questions um, as they have extra time or as it comes to them and quickly run up here, put a post-it on the wall, and I will either answer that question and their name on the back of the post-it. I will either answer that question face-to-face -face or through email, whatever time allows for. Um, if they, you know, have a question and there's like a minute left of class and they don't have time to sit and like really think through how to ask it to me or me to answer it to them, they can just throw that question up on the wall and off they go. Um, this is a large desk. It's a two-tiered desk. This is going to house um, little plastic bins that my students will be putting uh, physical assignments into, um, and each class has their own bin. Um, this is also going to be where I have them turn in their mastery checks when they are paper um, and other paper assignments, so I'm pretty excited about that. Next to this mastery check paper assignment turn-in station is a mastery check pick up wall hanging paper assignment. 
Um, it's going to be some uh, wall hangers that have different folders within that house their mastery checks and other assignments that I need them to pick up. So they'll be able to independently move throughout the classroom, pick up what they need, move back to their pod, and work as they go so it can truly be a self-paced environment. Um, students will know where everything is at. Um, I will be showing them, walking them around the room like I always do. Um, and I will also be posting this video so parents will know um, where exactly assignments are so that even though they're not physically in the class, they will be able to say, well, don't you remember the mastery checks were hanging up next to that desk, right? Um, so I think it'll be really helpful and I hope it will be an interesting way to implement what I have learned from Modern Classroom.